Hi, this is Aaron with HearSource.com. Today we're taking a look at the HearSource fitting software. This is the software that we use to program uh, our hearing aids. And in this tutorial we're going to focus in on the 12 band equalizer. This is the part of the software that we're able to go in and fine tune the hearing aids on a per frequency um, basis. So follow my cursor here, we're going to go up into the top left corner here and this is our 12 band equalizer. Now if I take my mouse and I put it over one of these 12 band sliders here it will flash up the frequency that we're manipulating. So this is 200 Hertz, 500 Hertz, 1000 and then if we go all the way to the right your last highest frequency is 7.2 kilohertz. Now to make sounds louder on these sliders we take this button here and we move it higher and the closer we are to the zero decibels which means full on gain that's going to make things louder or at least that particular frequency louder. To make, to make the sound softer you take the button and you move it down. And you can also see down here on this output graph, the blue line is the output curve of your hearing aid. This is what the sound should be kicking out into your ear. And so as we're manipulating these sliders, you will see that line uh, move. Now the different intensity of change between each one of these little hash marks is about three decibels of change. Um, so when you're when you're making your adjustments and trying to hone in on the just the perfect sound for your for your hearing aids, three decibels is enough change in volume for the human brain to pick up. So sometimes if you know if you can kind of focus in on on the on the problematic frequency, one little one little change in in um, in the output is sometimes all you need to really make a huge difference. So it doesn't look like much when you make one little click and, and you load that into your hearing aid, but sometimes it's all you need um, to, to make a world of difference there. Now um, when we're working with our hearing aids, some common problems that people have is um, they, they hear their own voice as an echo or they pick up too much background noise. Um, and so we can kind of focus in on a particular groups of frequencies that cater to those sorts of problems. Um, in our world, you know, we try to, you know, decipher, okay, what is a low frequency bass tone? What is a high frequency trouble tone? Of course, we've got lots of frequencies to work with, so we kind of group them together. We consider anything, you know, from about 1000 hertz and below to be a lower tone. And so by turning those types of frequencies down, that will help your own voice sound more natural to you. Um, it'll get rid of that echoing and if you um, are hearing too much of the background noise, that will help eliminate some of that as well, kind of help filter that out. Um, from about 1000 hertz to 4000, um, but we have a 4.2 kilohertz slider, all these sliders in the middle cater to speech. Matter of fact, this uh, grouping of frequencies is called critical speech. And so, um, this is going, by turning these up, it's going to make the consonant sounds on, on people's uh, words pop a little bit more. This is going to offer you better intelligibility, better discrimination, and understanding. And uh, also, with the very highest frequencies at 5.2 kilohertz, 6.2 kilohertz and 7.2 kilohertz. These frequencies they're important. They're important to hear. I mean, there's a lot of this, a lot of sounds uh, up in that area that you need to hear, but they're less important to speech. And it's very easy if if you turn those up too high, all of a sudden um, the sounds become very harsh and irritating. And so I actually try to pull those down quite a bit. By doing that, it makes the hearing aids less prone to feedback because feedback occurs typically in the higher frequencies. And by turning those down, it makes things sound a little more natural and uh, less harsh. 
Okay, well that's about it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-416-2434 or drop me a line. You can email me at techsupport at hearsource.com. Thank you all and have a good day.